Trading Sim, the number one market replay platform in the world, where you can learn to trade like a pro at your own pace. Hey day traders, it's Al Hill from TradingSim.com. In today's video, we will be showing you how to set up your Stoke RSI settings. Um, so regardless of your trading platform, currently I'm looking at trading sim, but again, regardless of the platform, you're going to be able to add indicators, right? So for us, it's right here with the indicators icon, or we can right click on the chart, insert indicator. You want to identify stochastic RSI, give that a click. All right. And for most products, the Stoke RSI will display below the chart. And here, uh, if you right click, or rather if you click here for format, this goes back to what we stated in the article, the 141433 default. It's pretty much the standard across all platforms. If you want to change things, um, you primarily want to focus on the length of the stoke and the smooth K. This is going to give you the ability to, you know, smooth the line out, if you will, so you don't have as many signals. So let's say we wanted to extend the smooth K um, to maybe like 20 or so. And you can see that really starts to smooth it out, right? Um, I wouldn't suggest doing that again because most people are looking at the 14, 14, 3, 3. But if it's just a really busy stock, like really volatile stock, um, that's one option. Another is the length of the stoke. You can change that to say 25. And that's gonna give you a similar effect. Not as pronounced, um, but also gives you the ability to, to smooth things out. So again, you know, you would only likely want to do something like this if you are trading an extremely volatile stock and you're just getting like buy sell signals all over the place with a stock RSI. Okay, hope this was helpful. Take care and good luck trading. Please remember to like or share this video. To learn more about how Trading Sim can help you become a profitable trader, please visit our site at tradingsim.com.